Hi, Kat. Hi, Noreen. Hello. Hi, Hello. Will. Hello. Hi, Noreen. I mean, Arlene, sorry. Hi. Hi, Cape Cod. You're on Hi, the Cape. I am. <laughs> you look Wind. sunburned. Oh. I just, oh, I just, I'm windblown. <laughs> I just got here today. Not enough oh, time did? to be sunburned. Yeah. <laughs> You're working on it. Yes. Okay, so we are recording. Um, and what? This is the Board of Health meeting of um, August 16th, 2020. Sorry? I thought somebody spoke. Um, we have a quorum myself, Catherine Hilton, Noreen Pease, Arlene Reed, Wim Levine. And uh, let's, let's have a quick meeting. So I sounds good. Just say one thing before we get started. Um, I am in the midst of trying to arrange some medical stuff for a family member who's having an emergency. So if I do get a call from a physician, I am going to have to take it. Sure. Oh, for sure. Okay. Thanks for letting us know. So uh, first. First thing, do we can we approve the minutes from whatever the last meeting was? So I moved. Even, uh, second. It was uh, like a month ago. Let me see if I have it in here. Everybody second okay for the with date? It? Yes. Yes. I'm. Well, I'll, fine I'll sign that. the date. If we're if we're cool okay. with it, I will. There's a text from Arlene. Oh, it's just because I was confused when I first got onto Zoom. It said the meeting was scheduled for 10 p.m. <laughs> oh, dear. Does that mean we're having an illegal meeting? No, it, I, it means that, uh, I don't know, you're actually somewhere out in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Oh, OK. I don't know why. I don't know why it said that at 10 p.m., but it did. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. Does it say that? It doesn't say that on the website, though, right? It has a regular. Our, whoops. Uh, the email you sent today says it does not specify a time. It just is the link with the codes. Okay, let me let me just check here. Um, well, on the. On the meeting schedule on the town website, it says it says seven o'clock. OK, then I think we're good. My, that would be my understanding. Yeah, it, it, it was definitely on the Zoom link. Yeah, the landing page. Uh, yeah. Where it says the, the host is aware you're here and we'll let you in soon that page. It says at 10 p.m. was the time. Anyway, it was very weird. There's a there's a new a new um, some new stuff. We have something different from from Zoom, and I had to do a different thing. Mm -hmm. you know, I don't know how much you guys use Zoom, but it seems to me that you do something one way one time, and then the very next time you go to do it, it's different. Some there, you know, the 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 thing that you were supposed to click on just disappears, and mm. I'm. Uh, I'm getting tired of it. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have we have two disposal works construction permits. Um, Twenty seven Weatherwood is um, uh, losing my language. It's a repair. Mm -hmm. I think one, I'm not sure about 135 Montague Road because it hasn't actually come to me. It went straight to Claudia. So I don't know too much about it. Claudia has recommended that we approve both of them. I just got um, 
an email just now from Miriam saying that CONCOM hasn't looked at it, and she knows that at 27 Weatherwood, there's a, a wetland nearby. Um, so, and I don't have these plans in front of me because they went to Claudia. So what I'm gonna suggest that we do is I'm gonna ask you guys to authorize me to issue these permits once everything is sorted out, assuming everything is sorted out. I mean, they've, they've um, paid their fees, Claudia has reviewed them, but um, we need to at least run them by CONCOM. And I don't want to have pe make people wait until after Labor Day, which is when our next meeting would be. Mm -hmm. How does that seem to you all? Mm -hmm. Sounds good. I think that's good. All right. Wim, you with us? Yes, uh, it's okay. fine. Okay. All right. So, so I will. I will issue those permits once I'm sure that they're okay. Um, I don't have the agenda in front of me because I'm an unprepared person. Okay, somebody... I, I have it. Yep. Um, and the doing? next thing is the event permit for townwide birthday party. Oh, you know what? I went ahead and signed that because there wasn't anything really for us to do. The only thing that we would ever be concerned about with event permits is whether there are sanitary facilities and uh, town hall is going to be open for that purpose. Okay. So I went in, I went ahead and signed it. Great. I hope you don't All mind. Right. <laughs> this is a jam-packed agenda. The next um, item is updates, if any. Uh huh. Right. Do we have <laughs> any from Mafco or the nurse? You probably saw the email today that the town nurse is changing her hours to yep. Tuesday afternoon, and she thinks that maybe that's going to be a better time for people to, yep. to drop. Has she been getting any people? Well, any I, business? I think I mentioned, I'm not sure I did it to the board at large, but maybe just to Kat, that I stopped in on Monday morning um, yep. to go, maybe. Mm -hmm. maybe. Um, there, <laughs> I was the only customer. I spent maybe 45 minutes yeah. with because uh, we had a lot of um, commonality in our work history. So um, mm -hmm. also talked about outreach and she was waiting on um, a printed flyer for distribution that had not yet um, come back from the printer, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um, so I offered to help distribute it, uh, but I, mm -hmm. I have gave her my my email, and um, I haven't heard a thing. Yeah, I'm not too sure what the status of that flyer is. I think we got something from Athena, but I don't think anything has happened with it. Noreen, what's the story on that? Um, uh, I, I don't I don't know. I know Athena did a draft, but I also know that Sarah said in her email today that she knew the flyer had gone out. I'm not sure what that means. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, too. And then the and then the, the dates had changed her her dates. And she said she would work to fix that. So I'm assuming the, then that the collaborative is working on um, getting those so, out. I so don't know. There is a flyer that um, did come out it is linked on the not on I don't think it's linked from the Board of Health web page, but it is linked from the town of Shootsbury, the landing page for the town website, um, where it says, I don't know if you all have um have seen the recently the town website um under news and updates, the second item is Shootsbury has a public health nurse. You oh, can good. read about Sarah's services and new hours here. And the here is an active link. And when you click on, click on that, you get a flyer. Right. And the flyer, it's been up there for a couple of weeks. And um, well, here's something um, interesting. I'm looking at that like, flyer right now and it's been it's, updated. It's been it updated with the new hours. Yeah, yeah, it's been updated. And um, I know when I sent out that email to 
uh, other community organizations and persons, you know, allies within the community who might help get the word out. Mm -hmm. I provided that flyer, the, that, the version at that time, um, as I think it was an attached PDF. And I said, if you want paper copies of this flyer, we can make that happen. We could get them to you for you to distribute to your, you know, people in your organization. Um, but Kat, I think anyone who was going to, I think that email that I drafted was sent out by you from the Board of Health email. So I would not have seen any replies, only you would have, I think. The only kind of replies we got were, thank you for the information. Right, but nobody is like hosting her at an event of theirs or anything like that. I, I fe My fear here is that she is going to just sit there every half day that she's working, every now Tuesdays, and just not have anyone but us drop by. You know? I know that a few people, uh, I've met a few people have, who have dropped by, but I don't know if they've actually asked for any services or, yeah. but maybe we should circle back to Sarah and ask her to mm -hmm. use it. Mm -hmm. I also know I, um, Kristen was patrolling Wendell Road yesterday and I, she, she pulled me over, not literally, but um, <laughs> we, we chatted and, and I asked her, um, I asked her, you know, what interaction she'd had with Sarah. And she said she had, um, they were working on some things together and that she found it very useful to have her in town. So oh, she was very enthusiastic still, great. you know, and she couldn't go into a whole lot of detail. Right. Um, so that was, that was good to hear. But yeah, I good. think we could still, I mean, we had talked about maybe um, running something through the library. And I know Marianne's mm -hmm. always really busy, but maybe some sort of, program or something on the books in the library in September, which is probably too late because September is coming up quickly. Well, it could be probably be pulled together pretty, pretty quickly. At the time we were talking about this, Marianne was out of town and I just couldn't right. back with her and then it kind of went off my head. Yeah. And, or at a, a, an already scheduled library event, you know, where, yeah. Uh, one of the many things they do either, I guess this turkey trot thing is happening on the town common, I think. There's so it's, it's starting, the, tur the turkey trot is a, a road race that's going to be around West Pelham and um, Pelham Hill Roads and it's going to start from the, yeah. the elementary school, but that's not until November. Oh, okay. No wonder. Turkey trot. Duh. Um, but we've got the town-wide birthday party, which is on September 10th. Okay, yeah. but there's also, um, you know, one music start, events and whatnot, um, sing-alongs. I think she should definitely connect with the school nurse at yeah. SES and, and maybe send something home with kids. Oh, that's a great idea, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. She she yeah. met the school nurse. Remember at that that early meeting mm -hmm. that we had, and when we were right. still looking for space. So, right. Um, yeah, I think, and they could send something out in their newsletter for sure. They probably have a flyer or something that goes home every week. They have a little newsletter that the kids carry home on Friday afternoon. Yeah, right. Uh, or it goes out electronically to mm -hmm. anybody who asks for it. Um, Road down news. Yeah. Well, can somebody follow up with the school? I know you're down there this week, Arlene, but you can you? Yeah, but it's easy enough her? for me yeah. to. I don't know if I'm assuming Katie Harrington is again the school nurse this. Yeah, she was the one who came to our meeting. Yeah, yeah, right. I don't think anything has changed there, staffing wise. And um, she, I don't know when she resumes coming into the school, whether she does so before the um, start of the school year or not. But I'll shoot her an email sometime in the next couple of days. Um, but in it, let's see, we're, we're suggesting that um, she and Sarah talk directly and that um, a copy of the flyer be incorporated in as, as early as possible into the school newsletter um, and yeah. be sent either, sent out whatever way they send it out. Um, 
Does that sound like yeah. that's the full message? Okay. Yeah. All right, I will do that. Yeah, and I think just to remind Jackie too that she's on board and, um, you know, they may have some things that come up in the school and, you know, the, they become aware of some adults in the family or some elders in the families that could use outreach from the school nurse. So yeah. Mm -hmm. just a... Okay, sure. I will do that to uh, communicate with both of them. I will print out the updated flyer and stick a few around. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, can, where can I grab some? Well, that's a good question. Um, I will. I will get some copies made, possibly tomorrow, and. I could, could, when I come back, I'll have to come back down Wendell Road. I could drop them off by your um, your mailbox. Cool. Uh, you know what else, Kat? You know, we just yeah. had a meeting of the Lake Wyola Association, but um, uh, Ivy Smith has been really good about getting emails out to members of the association. I think you're probably a member. And that um, she would probably send out that um, flyer as well. You know, to all the I'll, members of Lake Wyola. I'll send her the flyer. I know that yeah. she she did respond to the to the email saying thanks. Yeah. I'll, I'll pass this on, but I, I'll send her the. I think there the was file. some message. I think there was some message in one of the emails, but it, it wouldn't hurt to to get that out again too, because right. there are a lot of elders here around the living right on here on the lake. Right. Okay. Okay. I do have a couple of things. One might take a little more thought. Um, the collaborative is going to be working with some folks across the state who are updating their bylaws and regulations. And so the question is, are there, and, and that's one of the goals that we're going to work on this year is to make sure towns have um, kind of taken a look at any of their bylaws and regulations and made sure that they're up to date. Are there any that we need to take a look at again? Or maybe maybe even a list of what we have, Kat. I know we have well and septic and now we, we have green have burial. Any, we don't have any septic regulations uh, in no, we don't. Okay, so then well. We have our well regs um, as far as, and we have an outdoor wood burning boiler reg, which is now completely moot because nobody's using those anymore. Okay. Um, and that's as far as regulations go, that's, I think that's it. Our, our regs, I, I don't think we've adopted a specific regulation with respect to green burial. We have issued some policies for specific, um, instances where, where it's permitted, but I don't think we have a regulation. Okay. So we don't, it's not a bylaw. We just did a policy. Definitely don't have a, a bylaw. A bylaw. Okay is a bylaw has to be passed by the town at town meeting. A regulation, okay. a regulation can be passed by the board, but it has to be, we have to have a, a public hearing before we can do that. Okay. Okay, so that's we, just good to be able to report on that. So we have our well reg. It could use a little sprucing up, but it's basically in good shape, I think. I think okay. that there are, well, I think Maybe. that there's a significant typo in it that has to do with a, a particular um, chemical value that's off by a decimal place, but um, I don't know what it is. Can, can we just pull that out at some point during the year and just say that we, you know, revisited it? Uh, you know, maybe we all need to just take a look at it and then we can report that. Well, we it's, a bit, it's available on the website. Right, right. I know that. But. So I don't know what the good. change needs to be made. Um, I said, I don't know what the change is that needs to be made. You, and I you said, I don't to, either. You don't either. Okay. Do we know no. who we need to touch base with to see? Some chemist, I guess. Possibly. Like Ken? Possibly. Possibly. I was going to ask. At one point, I was going to enlist either Ken or Al or both of them to, to try to figure out what it was. It was something, I think Bill noticed it 
but okay. um, something that never got fixed. All right. Well, it's just something that we can tick off one of the boxes for, you know, reporting back to the collaborative, the collaborative reporting back to the state that we've all reviewed our, um, you know, any policies or so yeah. forth that we have and updated them. There are two other chemists that I know of in town who are both on the chemistry faculty at UMass. Mm -hmm. um, they are married to one another. They are Craig, Mart, uh, which one is? Um, Lynn Marie, all one word, L-Y-N-M-A-R-I-E. Lynn Marie Thompson and Craig Martin. And I can get their uh, email addresses or phone numbers or both to you. Noreen, if you would like. Yeah, that'd be great. Craig is on the broadband committee. He's very, very town involved. Okay, cool. And then we can do that. Great. Um, the only other thing I have to report on is that our RFP slash RFR for the new staff person for um, Emergency preparedness planning uh, is going to be issued very soon, probably in the next week or so. Um, and hoping that I think the closing date for applications is going to be around the 19th of September. And we're hoping we can interview quickly and have somebody on board early in October because uh, that'll be the whole first quarter gone with no staff member, you know, to fill that role. Um, I don't think we're overly optimistic that we might have any candidates. So I don't know what mm. happens if we if we don't. Mm. So and I'm on the review panel to um, take a look at the applications we do get. Oh, just a reminder that the RFP goes to any governmental agency and an RFR allows anyone who works in the private sector to bid on it. The good news is that the bid amount is fairly adequate. It's uh, it's about $100,000 to fulfill the um, the scope of uh, scope of work for the contract. So we'll see who turns up. We went over all the uh, you know, went over the scope of work again and any criteria that we would use to to evaluate applicants in our meeting on Monday and voted to go ahead and issue the RFP and the RFR. That's basically all I have. Um, the only update I have is that, I mean, I'm sure you're all hearing about an uptick in COVID nationwide. And in fact, there's that's been reflected in Shootsbury with there had been many, many, many weeks of no reported cases. And on Maven alone, I've known of three cases in the last three weeks, and all of which Sarah has covered. She's been monitoring Maven and she has been in touch with all of those cases. And I just three hours ago got an email from someone self-reporting a home test. So um, I will follow up with that person. But so we are seeing a an uptick here in town, for sure. Just at the beginning of the school year. Yeah. Sorry to say. Any recommendations yet on when the vaccine's gonna be? Well, I guess the va vaccine is on is um, ongoing available, but any well, new vaccines new, that we know of? The new vaccine is about six weeks or so out, I guess. Okay. Yeah, and it's returning to a purely commercial basis, I think they're, you know, it's not going to be, um, it'll be covered by insurance for people who are insured, but not, um, as I understand it, like, it's just the difference. Um, I don't think there will be like community clinics anymore, but I, I, I think it's all um, doctor's offices and um, anyway, I, I shouldn't even speak. I, I saw some memo about it recently, but I'll have to go back to that and reread it. Not thinking about the um, RSV. No, I'm thinking about COVID vaccine. Back today, you probably yeah. saw it. Uh, anyway, I'm 
can't articulate it, so I shouldn't even bring it up. Sorry. Okay, so the new vac you you read that the new vaccine should be out in about six weeks, Kat. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. Aren't you same thing, you guys? When are they? They're I saying late September. Over. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I haven't heard a thing. <laughs> don't know. And anybody heard anything about the existence of an RSV vaccine? Yes, we got a we got an email today about it. Let me. I did. You probably didn't get one. Um, let me get it. I didn't. The public health email address did not get anything. I will I will forward it forward okay. it to everybody. Um, um, it's from the immunization division. It's titled "New RSV Vaccines for Adults 60 Years and Older," and so CDC is it's it's kind of weird language. They recommend that adults 60 and older may receive a single dose. Um, and there's quite a lot of said or repeated about clini shared clinical decision making, and um, meaning with your your primary care doctor, I take it. I guess so. Um, but yeah, they're recommending that you consult a, you know, you don't just go and get one; that you can consult a doctor first. Um, uh, bah, 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 bah. And the part that uh, that I was thinking about is, please note these two new RSV vaccines for adults will not be made available by the state vaccine program, will not be included on the state supplied adult vaccine availability table, and therefore will not be orderable in the MIIS. Mm -hmm. but, wow. So, so it's pretty much a, yeah. a commercial thing, apparently. But I will I will forward that to all you guys. I just have a question. I, I wonder why not. They don't see it as a big enough risk or enough people that are, um, you know, at risk. It seems a little odd that they wouldn't be making it available for distribution through the MIIS. I have no idea. Do, do you have any comment, Arlene, from your years mm -hmm. around? So it's a little odd. Uh, my only get, and this is just a guess, is you probably follow the money. There's probably not the yeah. money to make it. I'm guessing. Yeah. That okay. widely available. Or maybe production and the supply of it is. Oh, that's a good point. Limited. Yep. Yep. Um, do. May I ask a, an, a question on a completely different subject? Please. Do we have an update on um, no. the Steve house? Okay. No, I'm so, sorry, but, um, but, but I'm going to make sure that that's uh, available to us on for our next yeah. meeting. I ask just because I know it's so, sort of fallen off our immediate radar screen, and I often have people asking me about it, and I... I've run out of things to say when people do ask me. And I am recalling that he felt confident that things would proceed in the spring and I've seen right. nothing. So I think it's time for us to nudge him again or her, them. I don't mean to single him out. It, you know, they're both owners. Right, but he's the only That's one that. who has a condemned house. Right. Yeah, I will. I will um, contact him and and require a report um, okay. at our first meeting in September, okay. and um, also ask him how things can be expedited. Yeah, it's not going to get easier as the winter comes on. No. You know. So and uh, when is our? We have one more meeting this month. Do we or no. not? No. Okay. So, and when is the first meeting in September? I'm sorry, I don't have my calendar in front of me. I think it's the sixth. Okay, uh, so um, I will not be here. Okay. Um, All right. The sixth um, on August, let's see. Exactly. Yes, it is the sixth. I will, I will be at the meeting. 
Okay. I'm there, I have no plans. Excellent. Excellent. I expect Garrett will be back with us by that time. Mm -hmm. And thanks so much again, Wim, for that arrangement and its delivery. That was just yeah. stunning. That was really, really uh, that stunning. was lovely. I, totally. I don't. I don't get the whole picture here. Did you grow this field of flowers at your son's home, and so he could be married in that field of flowers? No, oh, different venue, but I grew them at um, a fam. We there's a family place in Vermont. I see. It was just spectacular. It was very, very lovely bouquet. Purple oh. ribbon winner, I hear. Yeah. <laughs> Purple ribbon means you come in ninth place. <laughs> Are you just making that up? It does not. <laughs> <laughs> After all the other Crayola colors. <laughs> Purple is higher than blue. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering that. I never heard of a purple ribbon before. But but we won't ask. I will pick up the um, the gift basket tomorrow and okay. bring it back. Um, all right, great. Just please let me know what I can give you uh, for it, Kat. I haven't our, heard anything about. Oh, our our basket. our share. It, the thing was eighty dollars, so our share would be twenty bucks each. Okay. And whenever you know, whenever it's. Do not you do Venmo? I don't. I never have. We never do the same thing. Right? Right? I'll, I'll, bring, I'll bring some money by and put it in a crack in your door or something. <laughs> I put it under, bury it under a rock in my yard. I'm gonna send the there carrier. Go. I'm gonna send the carrier pigeon with $20 bill attached to its leg. <laughs> we can we can send the eagle family over. That probably there you go. There you go. It's not a big rush whenever we see each other. Okay. Okay. All right. Fine. I, I had occasion to speak to Garrett briefly this morning. Um, he called me to ask for help on something, but I was in the end not able to help with. Um, and I learned that his mother died at home there. So mm -hmm. it wasn't like she was scooped up by, by first responders and taken to the hospital. She died there. Right. So. And um, was it was it unexpected? I know she was ill the night we had our um, right. get together. I don't know. Wim, did you learn anything from Dean? Oh, nothing. Uh, well, I'll see what I can extract tomorrow, if anything. OK. Well, thanks for doing that, Kat. Oh, my pleasure. Yeah, and that was a really sweet story that Garrett um, wrote back to us after the flowers, too, to learn yes, about it. Was. Yeah, wasn't that really nice? nice. Yeah. yeah, I loved it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I did too. Yeah. yeah, that was that was perfect when you just kind of kind of hit on the the one thing that would really be meaningful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well done. All right, I think we should adjourn. All right, Good. Now, everybody's done. Harvested all the flowers. Well, all I, the flowers and the whole thing. Yeah, the, yes, the season. Wow. So no, no one else can die now. <laughs> nor okay. get, nor be ill, terribly ill. All right, mm -hmm. we all have to soldier on. Okay, <laughs> that sounds good to me. Yeah, yeah me too. <laughs> if that's what it takes. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Okay. All right, everyone. Oh. Okay. Good night. Good night. Right, good night, everyone.